guys, welcome to this week's video. Okay, coming up on Monday is a bit of a confusing one. It is Aquamarabilis Underwater Body Butter. Aquamarabilis is known as two separate products and to start with I was really excited because I assumed, and this still could be true, I don't actually know, that the product that they were talking about was this. Aquamarabilis, which is the body butter that was a regular product until they discontinued it last year. However, when I looked at the price, and I know that Lush Kitchen had to tweak a few things, and I thought they would have noticed the price if it was wrong at this stage, the price doesn't reflect that product there. And the product that they're offering also includes the words underwater body butter. Now the confusing thing is that Lush do the Aquamarabilis body butter, which I've just shown you, and then they do an Aquamarabilis underwater massage bar stroke bath melt etc. I don't know which one it is. Looking at the price I'm going to go for the original old one. Now the original old one is very very different to this slab that everyone knows and a lot of people love because the original was not anywhere near as big as that which then also supports the price difference. If it is the old school massage bar body butter whatever you call it then I am so freaked out because it is going to be amazing and I never thought I'd get to try it. This old school Aquamarabilis has a layer which is known as a ballistic crust. So basically it actually has a layer of ingredients that would froth and foam just like a bath bomb. And it's a very very small compact version. This one still has a base of almond shells and the almond shells are such a good exfoliator. I love them. You find them in lots of products and they are the perfect exfoliator. They're not too gritty and coarse, at the same time they're not too gentle. You can actually scrub yourself quite hard, get the results without damaging your skin. The base ingredients for this body butter massage bar is both cocoa butter and apricot oil and you get a really gentle but rather lovely apricot smell. But this apricot smell is intertwined with the likes of sandalwood and marigold and rose absolute. It's not overly floral, it's what I'd almost describe as a foodie smell. It smells a little bit like raw vegan cake of some kind, but almost like a base of a raw vegan cheesecake in a way. Not really savoury but not sweet, slightly floral but not overly floral. It's not a smell that you'd wear as a perfume, it's not a smell that you'd want to bathe in, but it's just a nice non-offensive smell that you can use in the shower. Also coming up on Monday is something called You Snap The Whip Body Butter. This is a body butter that shares its scent with the comforter range. To look at, it's a black slab, identical to this, but black. This is probably one of my least favorite comforter scented products because the actual smell is not that strong. If you like, the comforter smell but find it overwhelming, this is probably right up your alley because it is the comforter, you can smell it straight off, but it's not as strong as the shower cream and as the bubble bar. So the idea behind um, both of the body butters that are featured so far on Monday is that you take them into the shower with you, you wash as per usual, and when you're ready to get out of the shower, you step out of the way of the water and you take your body butter and you, in circular motions, scrub yourself wherever you want to do so. In this case, leaves a black residue on your body or a grey, should I say a dark grey residue on your body and you just then simply rinse yourself off and the idea is that it is supposed to be an extra moisturising tool that is exfoliating as well. So it should be slightly more moisturising than a shower gel but not as intense as a body conditioner or a body lotion. I find you snap the whip is less of an exfoliator and less of a moisturizer. It does soften your skin, but it's not noticeably that different to what it would be like if you just use your shower gel. I don't think there's any real need to use that because you don't get anything more from that if you took it out of your routine. Having said that, I don't think it's a horrible product. It does have a lovely smell, but overall it's just not something that grabbed me as being a must have. On to Tuesday. The first product coming up, the only product apparently coming up on Tuesday, is something called the Lush Bath Bomb. Now I am so excited for this product. Everything about this screams yes, yes, yes. I suppose it has a lot to live up to because it's named after the company. So that's a pretty big responsibility, but honestly it is worth it. The bath bomb is yellow and it has a strip of green, but it also comes with a tag. So like you have in the back of your clothing, this Lush bath bomb actually has a tag that is inside the bath bomb and comes outside. And last time the Lush Kitchen brought it out, it had Lush Kitchen written on it. It is 
is karma scented and it is beautiful lush bath bomb will turn it a beautiful vibrant summery color not going to spoil it for you and smells wonderful i don't know what else to say it's not as sweet as the shower gel and the jelly i find that the bath bombs lose that sweetness and the patchouli steps in slightly so you get that slight more of a spice grassy lemon grassy element but it is beautiful and it will be a big seller make sure you get some because it won't be around for long on to wednesday the first product Product coming out on Wednesday is Snow Cake Shower Gel. I've just realized I whizzed through Tuesday super fast. I'm so sorry if I've missed out any information. This is a weird product to bring out at this time of the year. I did see a few comments underneath the Lush Kitchen saying, why are they bringing out seasonal products and not celebrating summer with summery products? Perhaps the reason they're bringing out products like this now is because they already plan to bring out lots of really old Christmas Lush products in the kitchen and therefore they won't have space to fit this in. That's what I'm hoping anyway. But this is going to sell out I would say by the end of the first day. I don't think it's going to be a tug of war in the first hour, but I know that it was really popular when it came out last year, and I remember it selling out pretty quickly when they had a batch in the Lush Oxford Street store. So this shares its scent with everything snow cake. So if you were lucky enough to pick up smitten hand cream a couple of weeks ago, you have things like the Christmas Angel bath bomb bath melt that came out last year, and fingers crossed, uh, should be coming out this year. You had Marzi Bane Bubble Bar a few weeks ago in the kitchen. You have Snow On Snow Dusting Powder, just to let you know that I've got one over there. There are so many products with this scent. This is such a lovely shower gel. Even if you're not feeling this right now because you're thinking it's not Christmas, it's not winter, but I would highly suggest that you grab yourself a bottle or two and just store it till Christmas because you will regret it if you don't. This is a warm blanket of marzipan and benzene resinoid. The shower gel is slightly thicker than your average shower gel from Lush, but it is so moisturizing it's one of those shower gels that when you take a small handful and you start to stimulate it on your hand it will just create this beautiful thick rich creamy nourishing lava and it's really really generous so you don't need much each and every time you use this as i said it is an almondy smell crushed almonds sweet crushed almonds marzipan almonds and then on the other side you get the benzene resinoid and the benzene resinoid and i've always had a problem with describing what this does to products it gives a slight fruity scent to the almonds it's just a blanket of warmth it's one of my favorite christmasy smells from lush for sure also coming up on wednesday is the wood Temple Bar. Now I have a Woosh Temple Balm right here and I'm going to be honest, the only reason I have this is because I love the smell. It shares its scent with the Woosh Shower Jelly, so it's a really strong, zesty, citrusy, fruity, lemon and lime smell. The idea behind a Temple Balm, and Lush at the moment currently have this one and they have one called Dreamtime. They're available in um, any Lush store that has a spa. The idea behind a Temple Balm is it's just like a solid perfume. You stimulate the oils with your hands or your fingers and then you massage it into your temples. It's supposed to alleviate headaches, it's supposed to calm you and soothe you and help you go to sleep and I'm sure lots of people have lots of other ways of using these. If I'm going to be honest, Woosh Temple Balm doesn't really hold a place for me. It's not a product that I need or want to use. It's not a disgusting product, I actually love the smell. Because it's so zesty, it doesn't help me to sleep. It doesn't calm me. It doesn't do anything that's going to aid me to sleep well. If anything, it's going to wake me up. So I don't really see the point in having this. I'm sure that some people will have a use for this. But as a temple balm, I would rather stick with my dream time because I know that works. On to Thursday, and the first product coming up on Thursday. It's the second product, but I'm gonna switch it over and make it the most important, bubbling under bubble bar. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite bubble bars ever. The look of it, the smell of it, the productivity of it, it is absolutely perfect. This product is just beautiful, a really rich blue color and sprinkled on the top is really thick chunks of coarse sea salt and a sprinkling of seaweed. The only negative thing about this, the only negative thing about this bubble bar is that the color phase pretty quickly and within about six months the scent is 
very very low compared to what it was so it's not a product that you want to buy 50 of and store them because it just won't last however everything else about this bubble bar is amazing it shares its scent with the big blue bath bomb but i find that this is sweeter so bubbling under bubble bar has lemon and lime as the key ingredients and i think it's the lemon that comes up more and it also features both seaweed and lavender and the lavender and the seaweed give it a slight i don't know a slight calming smell to it as well so it doesn't allow the lemon to be really in your face when you run it under the tap it stimulates oh my goodness so many bubbles it is one of those bubble bars that creates that sort of gloopy thick feeling water so you really know that this is a bubble bar that's going to moisturize and nourish your skin and it does it turns your water a really lovely blue color i wouldn't say the scent stays on your skin for much afterwards but it's okay because the experience while in the bath is more than enough to justify buying one of these bubble bars for sure the other product coming out on thursday is slammer shower gel Now, unfortunately, this shower gel is one of the few from Lush that is not vegan, so I cannot buy any. It's one of those shower gels I just really wish that Lush would veganize. And the reason being is that it's described as being lime and salt. The idea is that it's supposed to wake you up. Talking to people, looking at reviews, a lot of people said that it actually doesn't smell so much of lime as it does lemon. In the bottle, it's actually far more tame than when you get it in the shower so if you're a little bit disappointed by the smell in the bottle give it a chance in the shower because that lemon does come out this is all what i've read and what i've heard from other people so if i'm wrong about this it's just because i haven't actually had any experience of the shower gel i'm gonna leave it there i i really can't review a product i've never tried before and i'll probably get it wrong i probably have got it wrong already people are probably screaming at me jen what are you talking about You've never tried the Slammer, it's nothing like that at all. So I'm afraid I'm going to leave you to independently go and have a look at reviews about Slammer and make your own choice for yourself. And I'm just going to sit here and sulk and hope that one day Lush veganise it. On to Friday. That was a little bit too overzealous, but never mind. The first product coming out is Bon Perignon Bath Bomb. As the name suggests, it is based on the alcoholic drink. To look at, it cements and supports this idea. It is shaped a little bit like an elongated sausage, but it's shaped like a bottle. In all fairness, it is a beautiful, zesty scent. It is really strong. It's one of those scents that's going to wake you up. If you like things like Up You Get Some Moti Bomb, that really strong, almost tart smell, you will love this. But rather than being lemon and lime, it is grapefruit. So smell-wise, I cannot fault it. It's a lovely, sprightly, get up and go bath bomb. However, it's really boring in the bath. It fizzles away to nothing and you just get this slight, very delicate, sort of pinkish tint to the bath water. And that's a disappointment for me because the smell itself is beautiful. It's great for cocktailing, but it's just a bit of a waste in the bath. And I don't think it really leaves much to be desired once it's fully dissolved. And the last bath bomb coming out on Friday, physiotherapy bath bomb. First of all, I think we need a slow clap because Lush, you're incredibly clever. It's a great pun. This is a bath bomb that hasn't come out in the Lush kitchen before. Physiotherapy, as the name suggests, is a bath bomb that is designed as a therapeutic experience in the bath. But Jen, surely all bath bombs are therapeutic. They're all there to help you to relax. The physiotherapy has key ingredients in the bath bomb to help it do that little bit extra. So this bath bomb doesn't read well at all from the start. It features ginger oil, mustard powder, clove bud oil, cinnamon leaf oil, coriander oil. It sounds like a disaster. And if I'm going to be honest, for me personally, it was a disaster. So first of all, physiotherapy is one of the smaller ballistics. It's quite a small one. I dread to think what my bath would look like if it was a normal size bath bomb. In all fairness, the smell wasn't overly bad. It's almost like they've taken a load of herbs and spices, which they have, and popped it into a bath bomb. So it's actually a really dry herbal smell. It had a very weird mint smell to it, which I have no idea where that came from because there's no mint ingredients in the ingredients list. Obviously the ginger oil and the potency of the mustard powder are very warming so if you have muscle aches and pains these are great for that the ginger oil also acts as a great stimulant for your pores and it helps to clear out and clean out those pores first really negative thing about this bath bomb is its color when you actually get it it's a really light sort of beigey brown color and as you can imagine once it's dissolved in the bath you're left with a really 
nasty, murky colour. The worst thing for me about this bath bomb was that all of those herbs and spices and powders sunk to the bottom of the tub once the bath bomb had dissolved. And the whole way through my experience, even though the bath bomb was only this big, I felt like I was sitting on sand. It has a really gritty texture, so it was really uncomfortable. And when you took the plug out and you let the water run, go and check out my blog and see the picture of my bath once the water is drained away. The third part was that the actual smell itself disappeared really quickly. And given that these ingredients are supposed to stimulate your senses and clear out your sinuses, etc., if you can't smell anything, is it actually doing its job? I will obviously end on a positive because I try to be positive as best I can. I did feel relaxed after I got out of the bath. My question would be, is that because I've just had a bath? I can't imagine ever getting out of a bath and being stressed. So there we have the Lush Kitchen menu. An interesting and very, very diverse kitchen menu. Top three items, bubbling under bubble bar, snow cake, shower gel, aquamarabilis, underwater body butter. I hope you've enjoyed this video for the Lush Kitchen menu. Let me know below what it is that you're going to buy this week. Until next week, or next video, bye.